happening locally live at 5 WOWT 6 News is there for a positive update for some families affected by that old market fire. Neighbors say there were more than 20 cars. They were trapped in an underground lot amid safety concerns. Yeah, our Lena Tillette is there right now and continues our coverage live with the latest update. Lena. Joe and Mallory, for 11 days, residents of this apartment complex have been waiting for the go-ahead from investigators that they can get their cars. Well, today they finally got that, and there were a lot of smiles as they were able to drive their cars away. But just next door, progress on this investigation has been slow. Well, we're elated. It's been quite a while, as you know. One by one, Cornerstone apartment neighbors freed their cars. After a fire consumed Dems Pub next door, investigators prevented anyone from going in or out of the underground lot. We were really appreciative that the building didn't burn down and what the fire department did. So, you know, waiting a couple days wasn't that bad. But I will say we're pretty excited to get our cars yeah. back. While a positive development, sub-zero temperatures and recent snowfall is slowing progress on the intensive Ems Pub fire investigation. We're up to like plan M or N now. We've just, we've had to change this every day and almost hourly in some cases is what we were going to do next. Permits and inspection superintendent Jay Davis says the initial plan on Wednesday was to spray the leaning awning with hot water, melt the ice, and then take the awning down. But that changed. We've changed our mind on that. It's just, it's become too dangerous to do that. So we're going to basically shore it, get the investigation done, and then we're going to work to get the awning off the building safely. Today, crews are pulling blankets off the site, looking for MUD markings on the ground. These are the markings that the subcontractors would have used when they were boring the hole and laying down the cable before the fire. Davis says this is a critical piece of the investigation. While the cold weather hasn't helped, Davis says they're also not certain what will happen to the structure of the building when temperatures rise. And the building itself, we have to worry about stability issues because as that freeze thaw happens, that's been our concern from day one. What will it do to the brick inside? Will it pull them apart? Will it keep them together? We don't know. As cliche as it sounds, investigators say only time will tell if this building can be saved. Now, Davis says the Mercers hired a private structural engineer to assess this building. And actually, this weekend, uh, someone will be above the building on a crane to assess from the top so that they can check out what's going on inside of the building. Joe Mallory. All right, good to see some progress being made. Lena Tillat reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Lena.